this is Robert with another Tech Geek 311 app review and demo. Today I want to cover a good calendar app that I've uh, been using quite quite a long time now and it's got a, a lot of good updates. It's called iCalendar. Uh, pretty much this one can take over for your default stock calendar if you'd like. It is a real good one. Let me go ahead and show you uh, basically the video. Give you an example of what this, this app looks like show you kind of how it works pretty simplistic pretty easy to use pretty fast you have a lot of special options in here things you uh, you really can't do with the stock application so give you an example here you've got of course the colors color codes everything for you uh, you've noticed that it has a day view week view month view you can also integrate your reminder task as well you can see all the services this syncs with of course you have your drag and drop features, copy and paste, printing, exporting. You have all the default iOS reminders that can be synced with it. And you can use it uh, universally around all your devices. Uh, it's been uh, updated last time. Now it has an in-app purchase so I want to let you guys know this ahead of time. So to do your reminders you will have to uh, pay a little bit but it's not that expensive for it and in case you're interested in any one of these other little features in here they all have in-app purchases uh, like I said the most expensive one in here is your weather once you pay it once that's it it's done you don't have to pay any more there's no renewals or nothing of course you can see here they do have a couple of February 2015 updates so it has been updated for a lot of a lot of uh, uh, current items in there so I'm gonna go into this calendar so we can show I can show you guys what it is so I've got it right here iCalendar. You can tell I have my app badge up there. So now you can see on the top I have two little things that are struck off. Those were my reminders for today. Those are from my iOS reminders. Of course I've got here on the bottom other reminders and other calendar events. The two on the bottom that are blue I'm going to show you that app in another uh, app review so be sure to check, it, check that out when you subscribe to my channel so you get all my information on the other apps and I'll show you why those are in there in that color. So here you can see I've got my entire week view. You can tell I've got everything color coded depending on how my calendar is set up. I can go to my day view and I can look at all the same stuff that I have. I can look in my month view. Everything will populate in the month. Uh, I can take any one of these items here if I want to and I can drag and drop them into different uh, stuff so I can hold on to something let's say I hold on to this and you can tell it moves so I can drag and drop it wherever I want of course I got my task which right now I don't have any current reminder task on there uh, you've got your share button down here so you can look at your calendar store you can print you can export search go to and you have your settings uh, we'll go into this little date if you notice I tap it it highlights so if you're let's say you're all the way here in week 11 tap on it brings you right back to your current date so another example go over here tap brings you right back tap on the top it's going to give you your month view you can select whatever day you want it'll automatically flip to that day of course you have your top arrows to go forward or backwards whatever you want to do we're going to go into here under your settings you can pick and choose what calendars you want. You can also look in of your subscribe calendars. You can choose any of those. Of course, your task manager. You want to show it syncing with your reminders. Tell you your, your uh, weekend starts on your task and so forth. Then, of course, you can look at your display. So you can change what you want as your default startup. You can dim your past events. You can show your visible range of hours and times. You can look at your weekly portrait view, how you want it to show it to you. You can show the weekdays as index if that's something you want. We have the Google Calendar. In case your Google Calendar is not set up through your iOS Calendar and your iCloud, you can set up Google Calendar as a separate one in here. Of course, you can look in, you can create your event defaults. So you can make a default how you want it to look every time you enter something in or you can make your event templates if you want so create a template whatever's easier for you 
The badge icon is what I like the most, and this is why I prefer this calendar over a lot of other ones out there. For one, this app badge will auto-update after midnight, so you don't even have to open the app to figure out how many events you have that following day. You can change how you want it to be number of events, day of the month, or include your all-day events. Now, the other calendar app that I, I'm going to show you in another review, um, this one will auto-delete uh, that app badge. In other words, that event is set for 10 or 15 minutes. When that 15 minutes ends, it will automatically delete that app badge. So you don't have to worry about opening this one up just to delete it, even though that event has expired. Of course, you can do your time zone. So that gives you good supports there. And then, of course, you have your themes in here. So you can create it however you're, is comfortable for you, whatever you want it to look like. Your alarm sound, you can change that. And then, of course, you have the support. So you can see the version number and you can get any help you need. Now, I don't necessarily use this app to create my events. I use another app for that, or I use the default one. But if I wanted to, I can hit the little Add button. And, of course, you can look and see how you can create uh, your templates if you want to create templates but this basically gives you an example you can create the title on top of course you have your times your calendar your color and then you can set on the bottom here your alerts your repeats and so forth you can also do the same thing for task so you can create your task or you can create your event so I don't I don't necessarily use it for I use it mainly as a way to look at my stuff it puts everything in, in chronological order so I like that the most. Uh, it's very easy to use. It dims out any of your past events. So it's uh, it's been a very um, very useful calendar to use. But I definitely, like I said, I love it for the app badge. The way the app badge works on this one is the best. So definitely subscribe to my channel, guys. Uh, like it if you like it, and give me any comments. And like I said, if you're subscribed to my channel, you'll get the other video that I'm going to have out on the other app that is currently linking with this one. Am I iOS calendar? So you'll uh, you'll know what, what I'm talking about there. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and um, if you want to check this app out, I've got the description or the link in the description below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click on the subscribe button, or you can go to my description my description, and you can click on the subscribe button down there. All right. So if you guys like this video, let me know any comments, give me a like, and I will catch you guys later with some more videos. Thanks for watching.